Hey everybody and welcome to my channel Knitting Kitty. Today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet this cute blue whale. The whale is 15 centimeters long and you will need only three colors of yarn, light and dark blue and also white color yarn. Also you will need 2.5 millimeter crochet hook. Now, let's see the rest of the materials we will need. First, we are going to crochet the head and the body. The head and the body are crocheted as one piece. Use light blue color yarn. Make a magic ring and crochet six single crochet into it. Then for the next round, crochet an increase in each one of the previous six single crochet. For round 3, make one single crochet in the first stitch, then in the next one make an increase. One single crochet, then make an increase. Repeat till the end of the round until you have 18 stitches. For round 4, crochet single crochet in the first 2 stitches, then make an increase. Repeat to single crochet, then make an increase. Repeat till the end of the round until you have 24 stitches. For the round 5, let's crochet single crochet in the first 3 stitches, then again make an increase. 3 single crochet, then in the following stitch make an increase. At the end of the round, you will have 30 stitches. For round 6, crochet. Single crochet in the first 4 stitches, then make an increase. Repeat. 4 single crochet, then make an increase in the following stitch. Repeat till the end of the round until you have 36 stitches. For round 7, crochet, single crochet in the first 5 stitches, then make an increase, repeat, 5 single crochet, then make an increase in the next stitch, at the end of the round you will have 42 stitches. From round 8 to round 17, crochet single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. Start stuffing the head and the body. For round 18, crochet single crochet in the first 9 stitches, then make a decrease, then make single crochet in the next 2 stitches. Continue crocheting one decrease, then make single crochet in the next two stitches, then again make a decrease. Mm -hmm. 
Continue crocheting single crochet in the next 4 stitches, then make a decrease and then crochet single crochet in the next 2 stitches. Make a decrease, then crochet single crochet in the next 2 stitches, then again make a decrease and then crochet single crochet in the final 9 stitches. Now crochet 2 rounds without any decreases. Make single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. For round 21 crochet single crochet in the first 8 stitches then make a decrease. Crochet 1 single crochet in the next stitch. Make a decrease, then crochet another single crochet in the next stitch, then again make a decrease. Crochet single crochet in the next 4 stitches, then make a decrease. Crochet one single crochet in the next stitch, then again make a decrease. Crochet one single crochet in the next stitch, then make a decrease. Crochet single crochet in the last 8 stitches. You will have 30 stitches in total. Now crochet 1 round without any decreases. Make single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. At this point you have to attach the white eye patches with the safety eyes. Cut two white felt circles, approximately 15 mm in diameter. At the bottom of the white eye patches, make a small hole for the safety eyes to go through. The size of the safety eyes is 10 mm. Pin the safety eyes with the white eye patches between round 10 and round 11 of the head and the body. Position the safety eyes symmetrically and if everything seems right and you like it, you can secure the safety eyes with the washers. Crochet this amigurumi as a gift for a baby or a small child, you can secure even more the eyes using a silicone glue gun. Stuff the head and continue crocheting. For round 23, crochet single crochet in the first 9 stitches, then make 6, six decreases one after another and then again crochet single crochet in the last 9 stitches. You will have 24 stitches in total.
Now, crochet two rounds without any decreases. Make single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. For round 26, crochet. Single crochet in the first six stitches, then make a decrease. Repeat. Six single crochet, then make a decrease. Repeat till the end of the round until you have 21 stitches. Now crochet one round without any decreases. Make single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. stuffing the head and the body. For round 28 crochet, single crochet in the first 5 stitches, then make a decrease. Repeat 5 single crochet, then make a decrease. Repeat till the end of the round and you have 18 stitches in total. Now crochet 2 rounds without any decreases. Make single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. For round 31 crochet, single crochet in the first 4 stitches, then make a decrease, repeat 4 single crochet, then make a decrease, repeat these steps till the end of the round until you have 15 stitches. Now crochet 1 round without any decreases, make single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. For round 33 crochet, single crochet in the first 3 stitches, then make 2 decreases one after another, then crochet 1 single crochet in the next stitch, then again make 2 decreases one after another and finally crochet single crochet in the last 3 stitches. Now crochet 3 rounds without any decreases. Make single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. Stuff a little bit more. For 
For round 37, crochet single crochet in the first 3 stitches, then make a decrease. Then crochet 1 single crochet in the next stitch, again make a decrease and finish with single crochet in the last 3 stitches. <music> In the last round crochet single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. Finish with a slip stitch and leave a long tail for sewing. Flatten the whale's body, then using a darning needle close the bottom. Now let's crochet the whale's fins. Use dark blue color yarn. Make a magic ring and crochet 6 single crochet into it. For the second round, crochet an increase in each and one of the previous six single crochet. For round 3, make 1 single crochet in the first stitch, then in the next one make an increase. 1 single crochet, then make an increase. Repeat till the end of the round until you have 18 stitches. For round 4, crochet single crochet in the first 2 stitches, then make an increase. Repeat. To single crochet, then make an increase. Repeat till the end of the round until you have 24 stitches. For the round 5, let's crochet single crochet in the first 3 stitches, then again make an increase. 3 single crochet, then in the following stitch make an increase. At the end of the round you will have 30 stitches. For the next round, crochet single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. Flatten the fin and working through both layers close it leaving 3 stitches unfinished. Do not stuff the fins, just flatten them. Next step is to crochet the tail. The tail consists of two parts. Again, use dark blue color yarn. The two parts of the tail are crocheted the same way as the fins. You just have to repeat the same steps from round 1 to round 4. Make a magic ring and crochet 6 single crochet into it. Then for the next round, crochet an increase in each one of these 6 single crochet. For the third round, crochet single crochet in the first stitch, then make an increase. Repeat one single crochet, then make an increase in the next stitch. And for the round four, crochet single crochet in the first two stitches, then in the next one make an increase. Repeat 
to single crochet, then make an increase in the next stitch. Repeat these steps till the end of the round until you have 24 stitches. And next crochet one more round with single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. Flatten the circle and working through both layers close it leaving two stitches unfinished. Finish with a slip stitch. Do not stuff the tail parts, just flatten them. Leave a long end for sewing. ready for assembly. You will need a darning needle, bubble pins and scissors. First sew the fins. Using bubble pins position them symmetrically on the body below the head approximately between round 14 and round 18 with uh, 5 or 6 stitches in between. Sew the two parts of the tail to the body, the unfinished end towards the body. <music> to complement the look of our whale, let's crochet a small water fountain. Use white cover yarn. Start chaining 10 chain stitches. Join the two ends of the chain with a slip stitch in the first chain space. Chain 2, then crochet half double crochet in each chain space. with a slip stitch on top of the first half double crochet you've made at the beginning. For the next round, chain 2, then crochet half double crochet in each stitch till the end of the round. Finish with a slip stitch on top of the first half double crochet. And for the last round, chain 3, then crochet 5 double crochet in the first stitch, 
Then in the next one, crochet four double crochet. Repeat five double crochet in the next stitch then crochet four double crochet in the following stitch repeat these steps till the end of the round finish with a slip stitch on top of the first double crochet Finally, sew the fountain on top of the head. Using white thread and sewing needle, sew the white felt eye patches to the head. Then, using thinner black yarn, embroider the smile. To complete the look of our whale, you can sew small colorful felt spots all over the head. Our whale is ready. Hope you liked the tutorial. See you soon.